Hello, this is Squarespace Toots with a, uh, another Squarespace tutorial. This one on how to do a slideshow of banner images um, without knowing an ounce of code. There are ways to do it with code um, that can get more varied results as far as templates, but there are four templates that you can do this on without knowing any code and it can uh, be treated just as you would any other slideshow. The four templates you can do this on are Bedford, Hayden, Anya, which I'm showing you here, and Bryant. Uh, I've tested every, te every uh, template that Squarespace has, and those were the only four that I've found um, that have this trick. But it is quite simple, so notice I've created a uh, dummy homepage here on Anya, and there is a couple of things that you need to do in order to prepare this. No Notice how this is just a normal banner image uh, right now before the content. It's just a still image, but when I say banner image, I mean the stretching full screen, usually full width up here um, before you get to the content, your hero image, if you will. So in order to get a slideshow up there, we're going to have to clear out the static image that is already there, and we do that by hitting the gear next to whatever page you want to do it on, and this can be done on any page, and removing the thumbnail image, because that's going to override whatever slideshow we have. If you hit refresh, you'll notice that it changes, and we no longer have a slide, have a home image up there. Um, notice on that home image, though, if we go back, oops, Actually, that's one that I already got set up. Uh, I'm going to put that, put an image back in there real quick. So once this image gets back loaded in there, uh, notice Annie, Devin, all of that stuff, that comes from this description here. But since we're not going to have this image in there anymore, we've got to get rid of this description as well. I mean, you can leave it in there, but nothing that you put in this box will no longer show up once you have a slideshow. The slideshow will override it. Although you can get text in there. Um, in pretty much the same fashion, and I will show you how to do that once we do the slideshow. So we're back on home with no featured image in there, and you'll just want to go in and edit this page. Notice you can do this on any page, um, obviously not the index pages since you don't actually edit those, they read these other pages here, but any page you can do it on doesn't have to be inside an index wrapper, it can be standalone, it can be not linked, doesn't matter, you can do it on any page. Um, it does have to be a page though, you can't do it on you know a gallery or a blog or uh, you could do it in a blog post, I'm assuming. I haven't tried that, but I'm assuming you could do that, but not in a regular, or not in a blog feed or summary or anything like that. So how you do it is when you're editing your page, at the very top of the page, it's got to be the first thing. Um, normally, you'll have either a blank page or some created text. You just got to make sure you're at the very top and insert a slideshow. None of these other galleries work, only slideshow. And then you'll upload the images that you want to use. So we'll just say it's that one, and that one, and that one. Use those three for now. You can have as many as you want, just like a regular slideshow. And then you can do a couple things with the design. Um, clicking show thumbnails won't hurt anything, but thumbnails will not show up. Um, you can crop your images in um, somewhat. Next and previous controls are completely fine. They're functional. You can also automatically translation, um, transition between slides. You can do the show title and description, however it will not show up at the bottom, center, left or right. These positions won't mean anything, but um, and neither will show on hover, but you can sh say show title and description, or you can hide that. 
um, we are going to, well, we'll hide it for now. Since we're not going to use it, I'll build another one that shows you how to use it. That is basically it. Hit save. And now the key is, notice how it doesn't look like there's a banner slideshow here. If you hit refresh, however, now you'll see what it actually looks like. Where you have a banner slideshow, you can click left and right, it will automatically also roll. Um, all of your design banner images also work the same way, where you can site navigation or site title, transparent or not transparent, you can do that. Your banner section, you can adjust the overlay color or leave it completely off. And do different things like that. Um, treat it as you would any other banner image. Here's how you're going to control what your font and text and everything looks like. Um, once I show you how to get it on there, which is what I will do right now, I'll actually show this to you on another page. So we'll create an arrival real quick. Because um, I'll show you what it does when you have multiples of these in one index. So we'll go to Arrival. Repeat the same steps real quick. Edit your page. Very top, insert a slideshow. Upload some images. And then you individually do your text and description like you would for images on any slideshow. So you go, um, you can bold, you can have links, um, you can do italics. I have yet to actually try whether or not it lets you do headers, so I'm just going to give that a shot. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. You can also get fancy with, you know, some first line CSS, um, custom CSS and different things like that to style this as well. Um, do your text align center and everything's like that. So we put one thing there. You can have them all say the same thing, either by copy and pasting, or you can have them all say different things. Um, click through URL so that the whole page would become a link it is also something that I haven't tried, so we'll give that a shot right now. Let's do some editing. We will do that one, that one, and I'll show you that the thumbnails don't show up. And make sure you'll have title and description clicked, otherwise it won't show up there. Notice how it says at the bottom, but it's going to show up um, in the center where it's set, where the style for banner images sets it. So if you did want to position it somewhere else, you'd have to do that through custom. Um, hit refresh. And notice that it's not going to work because we still have the thumbnail image up there. So just to show you, oh, actually it did work. It overrode the thumbnail image, which is quite nice. Um, I did this on the, the Bedford template before and I had to remove the thumbnail images. But there we go. One thing to notice is so you can't do h1 tags you'd have to style this um, in some other way and notice how I had this as a title in the title field on this slide um, and that doesn't show up only stuff in the description field will show up here
It will work, however, to have this be a link, obviously. Um, that one we had made a click-through URL or a link to a, another site or a piece of content on your site. You could link it to another page. Notice, however, you don't get the mouse link function, um, so you would have to add that through cursor pointer custom CSS.